Hello and welcome to this week's RCS podcast. You should have received a letter this week outlining our plans for school reopening in September. This will be staggered with New Year 7 and New Year 11 returning first. All year groups will be taught in bubbles in line with government recommendations and we will write to you again with specific details of our plans for each year group before the end of term. Our official Year 11 Leavers video has been published on the website this week. In it you'll see plenty of memories dating all the way back to Year 7, as well as recorded messages from teachers. Among the good luck messages you'll see the return of a former head of year, Mr Stanley showcasing his athletic prowess, and Mr Anson as you've never seen him before. Definitely worth a watch. We've almost finished our distribution of 21 laptops and 32 Chromebooks for eligible families who do not have access to a computer for home study. This was part of a government initiative to ensure that all students are able to engage with remote learning, including live online lessons. Mr Bartle has conducted another virtual assembly with Year 6 students in their primary schools this week. He's been explaining the plan for their induction day on Wednesday the 2nd of September and recapped key information such as uniform and equipment. Next week we'll be celebrating our students achievements with our annual end of year awards assemblies. This year's events will be virtual and awards include subject awards, the Raw Marsh Way Awards and our golden tie winners will be announced for top boy and top girl. 39 students were nominated for Student of the Week this week. As always, they've been chosen by their teachers for their standout contribution to their subject and for exemplifying the Raw Marsh Way. A special well done to Taron Kaur in Year 10 and William Carter in Year 8 who have achieved nominations in two subjects. Miss Ball, meanwhile, was spoilt for choice in Resistant Materials with six pupils being recognised for achieving top marks of 24 out of 24 on their post-lesson knowledge quiz. In last week's podcast, we told you about Curtis Yip and Kimiko Utley, who scored 10 out of 10 in all of their subjects in the recent engagement data collection. Well, in place of effort rankings, we have sent out positive postcards to any students who achieved a score of 10 in any of their subjects. A huge well done to everyone who has received one. Performing Arts have excelled themselves once again by recording their second lockdown single. Bringing together a collaboration of talented voices, Mr Nota and his team have this time covered Elton John's I'm Still Standing. You'll find the song on our website and on RCS Tube. Miss Tuck's Key Stage 3 food technology students have been rising to the challenge of baking cookies this week. Nadia Zoka, Leo Harrison and Alexia Schofield were among the students sending in pictures of their delightful homemade treats. It's been a particularly good week for Alexia who has also received praise from Miss Merchant, Miss Hodges and Mr Leary for going the extra mile with her English work. Two more students who went above and beyond this week were Caitlin Kane and Olivia Smith in Geography. A delighted Mr Spruce was impressed with their initiative to use the Sims 4 video game to put into practice their work on sustainable homes. In ICT this week, students in Year 7 and Year 8 have continued to share their custom designed PCs. Thanks to Thomas Gratton and Riley Madley for these brilliant creations. And in Year 10 and Year 11, students will now be able to access their textbooks for computer science and iMedia online to support with home study. If you're in Year 11, then the time has come to apply for your travel pass. You can use the pass for the next two years to travel across South Yorkshire for just 80p. Visit the Travel South Yorkshire website to apply. This week's Doc of the Week will no doubt be a popular choice as it's all about the history of football from its very early origins. As always, you will find this and the previous documentaries chosen by Mr Ellis and Miss Cobb 
on RCS Tube. And finally this week, if you're stuck in a rut and need to get back into a routine ready for September, visit our website to watch this video from With Me In Mind. In the video, you'll find activities that all the family can do to improve mental and physical well-being. We'll be back next week with our final podcast of the school year. Thanks for listening.